If you're going to be spending time outside, you better get that sunscreen. We all know that helps protect us from the UV rays from the sun, but how does it all come together? We're looking at the science behind. A lot of people don't realize how much damage the sun can do to your skin until they get a deeper look below the surface. Outside of completely avoiding the sun, the best way to protect yourself is applying sunscreen. And there's two types, one physical, the other chemical. They work different ways. With your physical sunscreen, it's made up of zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. With your chemical sunscreen, they are made up of avobenzone and benzophenone. So both of the ingredients kind of work to block the UVB and UVA rays that you're getting from the sun. There are three kinds of ultraviolet radiation, UVA, B, and C. UVC is mostly absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere, but the other two can be harmful. UVB, however, is our primary cause of sunburn and skin cancer. UVA rays penetrate the skin so deeply that they cause premature aging and also can contribute to skin cancer. The most common cause of cancer. Here's how they work. Physical sunscreens reflect the rays off the skin's surface, but chemical sunscreens go deeper. Chemical sunscreens work by absorbing the heat and converting them into heat energy. Brie recommends the physical sunscreen over chemical products as they are more likely to enter your bloodstream. Both are very effective if you apply the right amount. We actually don't use enough. They say that the recommended amount for it to be healthy and completely covered is a shot glass full every two hours. Wow. So when you think of it that way, we're like, oh, we're not probably using enough. Nope, guilty. Not using enough. Yeah. And, um, so everybody wants to talk about the SPF number, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you'll get them, you'll see them up to like 100. Yeah. And pretty soon they're going to ban that. Mm -hmm. Anything over 60. Now this is a 50 right here. Mm -hmm. uh, probably one of the highest that you'll be able to get. They're going to ban anything over 60 uh, coming up here pretty soon. But there's only a 1% difference between 15 and 100. Oh, wow. So yeah. it means nothing, really. Okay. Yeah, oh, so uh, really, uh, 30 is what's recommended uh, by most dermatologists and everybody. Mm -hmm. So there you go, sunscreen, that's how it works. Mm -hmm. So back in the day when I was growing up in Miami and I was putting on baby oil, that was not a good thing, huh? <laughs> no, that helped to absorb. <laughs> so, that was helping you get oh, that nice tan. You nice shine, you know? Oh, I was smooth. <laughs> <laughs> As every butter. Two, every As two butter. hours. Yeah. You know, uh, you have to remember to do the ears, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I know folks who've gotten older who've had to have, like, some of their ears taken off mm. uh, because you know they've forgotten about the ears so you Lips. wear you know you wear the caps yeah. and things like that and you forget and you, you know what else you said it was the scalp yeah. Scout, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's hit. That gets a little well. hard. Yeah, yeah trying me. to get in to yeah trying to put it in so you wear a hat and it, sunscreen. You, you think about the amount of sunburns that we get throughout our lives my dermatologist said have you had more than three sunburns I said yeah I grew up in Miami I've had dozens of them that's bad more than three sunburns can impact the skin that dramatically. Wow. All right, All right let's go into our forecast.